one, it's Henry. And the blowers. Good morning. Today is Sunday. You're watching this on Monday. Uh, I guess you're wondering why my white outdoors is out here, or maybe you don't. You're not wondering. You already know why. Because for the past couple of weeks, this person's been jerking me around about picking this thing up. As you know, I was uh, ready to sell this last week. The guy came and looked at it, whatever. And then I decided to mow my lawn with it, and the uh, deck belt broke. So I tried all kinds of different belts. Just It has to be exactly that size can't be an inch less or an inch more. It's, it, I tried. It's just one of those things. So what did I do? I had to go and buy a belt. That's right. I never buy anything, but I had to go buy it. Uh, it was only like six bucks, whatever, uh, from D&D Belts on eBay. I bought like 25 belts from those guys. It always looks great. Slipped it on yesterday. It works great. Drove it out here. Guy's supposed to come at 10.30 this morning. Then he writes, nah, I'm going to come at 3.30. I'm like, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to move this over there. And uh, today I'm going to be working on a couple of push mowers. I just got to get them out of my garage. You know what I mean? I got so many. Not to mention the fact that the ones with baggers are going to be in high demand this time of year because the leaves are falling on the ground. And everybody, if anybody wants to buy any power equipment this time of year, it's either going to be a mower with a bagger or a snowblower. Not so much the snowblower here in New York, you know. But uh, anyway, I'm also going to install the um, auto choke arm, is what they call it, uh, on my Kohler XT675 engine on my Toro Recycler. As you know, I got that mower for free from Motherload 27, right? It's a great mower, self propulsion works and all that stuff. But uh, when you first start it, a cold start, it takes about 30 seconds to a minute for it to run smooth because it takes a while for the muffler to heat the thermostat to move the arm to open the choke flap. So uh, I went and bought a new thermostat. I don't know if that's what you call it, but I call it a thermostat because heat heats it up, it moves, opens the choke flap, you know? Uh, I think maybe it's on its way out, which is the reason why it takes so long for it to move, you know? But it's supposed to just like, once you pull it, it opens pretty quickly and stays that way, you know? So uh, I'm going to install that um, auto choke arm is what they call it, but I call it a thermostat. And then if I have time before the first game today, uh, NFL game starts, um, I'm going to get that mower that my next door, my across the street neighbor Darren gave me yesterday. He said it works just fine, but I couldn't get it started, you know? So maybe it needs a carb clean. God knows if he ever did a carb clean on it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'm going to move this over there. I'm going to get started on those two mowers if I have a, a time. Oh, I just want to thank you guys again for uh, buying my new design stickers. The Dunsky sticker and the American Patriot sticker. The two holographic ones, they're my two new designs. They've been flying off the shelves. Uh, for the third batch of people that ordered uh, last night, uh, it's going to take a couple of days longer because I don't have any more stamps. <laughs> I ran out like almost instantly, you know? So um, I probably sold about 60 or 80 stickers within the past three days ever since I announced the Dunsky sticker. So thank you all very much for the support. Uh, as you know, those stickers keep me going. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have a job. I quit my job to be a full-time YouTuber, so I'm a starving, starving YouTuber. The stickers is a form of income that keeps me going, you know what I mean? So thank you very much for the support. Keep the videos coming every day. Now let's see if this thing starts, and I'll move it to the side over there so they can check it, check it out, on and on and on, on and on and on, check it, check it out to the break of break of dawn. I don't know why. <laughs>
gotten really chilly really quickly in the past week or so. Just about 10 days ago, it was 90 degrees. Today, it's like 48, you know, crazy. So, um, this is the Toro Recycler with the Kohler XT675 uh, engine on it. Great engine, great mower. Everything works great on it, except for the fact that when you start it, it runs very rough for the first 30 seconds. And then as the engine heats up, then it runs smooth because that choke flap slowly creeps open. But for that first 30 seconds to a minute, it's almost closed on choke, you know? So that auto choke arm is not opening up the choke flap fast enough. On this mower also, it was missing the air filter cover. The air filter cover is part of that re... Well, Kohler told me it was not a recall, but... Um, there's a new kit for this. So Kohler told me that you need to buy a new kit for this because this, the cover that goes on here is the one with the two tabs really close together on the bottom and one single tab on the top, right? And you can't even buy that cover anymore. So you gotta buy that new kit that comes out and it has the cover that has the spread out ones, the four tabs, right? I guess because the single tab, it used to fly off or something, get caught underneath and, um, I don't think they did a recall. That's not what Kohler told me, but they said they phased that out, discontinued it, so you can't even find that cover that fits this anymore, you know, unless you look on eBay for somebody's used one, whatever. Uh, Larry has the same exact uh, mower, and you can't find that cover. So you gotta buy the new kit, which is the four tab one, and it comes with a new uh, air filter base. So that's expensive. It's like uh, 15, 18 dollars, something like that for the entire assembly which I'm not ready to pay because I'm not gonna pay $20 on a, on a push mower, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I made this uh, little cover, makeshift cover here with a couple slabs of Gorilla Tape. But it's just a cover, that's all, it's black, it's the same size and everything, you know? It's a uh, takeout sushi container. Uh, my wife threw this out today. Looks like a, just any box, whatever. But it looks like it might fit, but you know what? This is blue, it's black. I'll leave that the way it is until I come across a a cover for used uh, that's used and cheap too anyway I'm gonna take this assembly off and get to access to that auto choke arm which I'm gonna replace shout out to my friend from my Long Island squad Nick from Mexico he bought one of my Patriot uh, American flag stickers yesterday I guess he likes it like you guys do. Um, the past couple of days I've sold about 60 stickers. Thank you guys all very much for the support. I knew you guys would like the new sticker version. Um, keep, keep the sales coming, keeps me going. Uh, like I said, I don't have a job. I'm a starving YouTuber. Keeps the videos coming every day. Support the channel. Buy a sticker. So here is the brand new Kohler Auto Choke Arm. I paid $15 for it. I'm going to take this uh, cover off and we're going to install it, see if it makes any difference. Um, once again, thanks a lot for buying the stickers. Here, there are so many to list, so I can't do individual shout outs, but here's a couple of pages of the names of the people who bought the stickers in the past couple of days. I'm going to show you through a cold start and show you how it runs right from the get-go. Here we go.
as you can tell, it takes a while for it to start running pretty well because that choke flap just is taking forever to open, you know? So uh, that's it. That's what I got to do. I'm going to take that apart and we're going to swap that out. So here we have the new one. We're going to see in a little while if this $15 item fixes my problem. If not, I just wasted $15. work on the culverter engines because the shroud just comes off of three bolts you know I've got you on a smaller tripod so you can see a little bit better and that's what it looks like two ten millimeter bolts it's hot so this is closed and when it heats up it's open Uh huh. Look at that. Back of that is pretty scorched. This is rusted here. Seems like a little bent. I'm expecting it to kind of move now because the muffler's hot, right? It's not. Well, it's on here. Let's put everything back, see what happens. Covers back on. Let's give her a rip. Already sounds good. No smoke from the choke, whatever. And the RPM seemed a little bit um, low. So I'm gonna adjust the RPMs. I'm gonna clamp this down so I can get to it. I'm gonna show you guys. There we go. You guys see that? All right, let's start it up again.
put some. Deep Clean Fuel System Cleaner from my friends over at Lucas Oil. Let's see if that, uh, I guess, ass gas, if you want to call it, uh, helps out the, uh, I never took this carburetor apart to clean it or anything, see? I'm just gonna put like one ounce in there just to let it percolate for a few days and see what happens, you know? Um, but it might need a um, carb clean, but it definitely runs much better now. But then again, you can't really tell because it was already heated up slightly, you know what I mean? So we'll try this in uh, a couple of hours, but right now, This is the uh, mower I got from my next door neighbor uh, across the street, Darren. And uh, he says it runs just fine. It's a uh, Craftsman push mower. Has nice wheels on it, has a bagger, and it's an auto choke. And he says it ran just fine, but I can't get it to start. So we're gonna check out that carburetor and see how dirty it is. So it's an auto choke. I've been doing this for a while. It just doesn't seem to start. So let's take the let's take this uh, air cleaner cover off and spray some go go juice in there and see if it has spark and will start up the go go juice. Contact cleaner for my friends over at Lucas Oil Products. Let's see if it starts. You know it has spark because it ignites, it combusts, and it starts, and it stays running. But something to do with the auto choke, which didn't allow it to self prime. So we're gonna put this up on a block so it, at least it's tilted towards me, you know? Take this cover off. Now this doesn't have that primer problem that I had on that other mower because this is an auto choke. That gasket doesn't even have to be nice, you know? What the hell? This is on there really tight. See? Ooh. This actually has a gasket I could use for the other one. And this is the original gasket. Ooh. Huh, I have found the problem, fellas. Tell me what problem I have here. Come on, you guys can figure it out, right? Why doesn't it auto choke? Because it wasn't on choke, it was open. Why is it staying open? Because it's missing the spring that goes from here to there. I need a spring that keeps this choke closed and then when the thing heats up it opens like that. So it's missing a spring. I think that's what the problem is. Let's go find a spring. So I had a bunch of these springs. I cut one to fit right there. The tension was a little bit too tight so I pulled it out apart a little bit. So now the tension is good. So now that keeps the, uh, when the engine's hot, it keeps the flap closed so you can start it. And then once it heats up the muffler, it'll slowly open and allow you to start it when it's hot. So uh, with the auto choke, you don't even really need this gasket, but because this bottom part is so smooth here and this is the original one, I might try to snatch this gasket off and put it on that other one that I was having problems with. <laughs> But uh, let's start this up and see. There's no primer, so you don't even need the cover. Technically. The pl 
plot thickens. Hmm. How about that? Maybe the spring tension is too tight. Well, you know what? Let's see if the carburetor's dirty. Let's take that apart and see. So I let it run for a little while and the smoke would not dissipate. It wouldn't go away. Usually when there's smoke in the muffler, uh, smoke coming out of the muffler a lot like that, right? You want to just burn off because you probably tilted it or something and fuel uh, oil went into the muffler so you're burning a little bit of that off. But when it continues like that, right, out of the muffler, uh, you suspect that the oil has been overfilled. So I just checked the dipstick, right? Check this out. Now the oil is clean, very clean. The oil is double what it should be. That dot there is full. It is at the double, uh, it, it has double the amount of oil it requires. So it's got like 45, 50 ounces in there when you should only have 20 ounces. So I'm gonna dump like half of the oil out and that should fix our smoking problem. And uh, a telltale uh, sign of it being overfilled is that there was a lot of oil around here, the air filter area, as well as the where the breather goes, right? It leads right into the carburetor, so there was a lot of oil. So oil is not gonna help it run either, you know what I'm saying? So that's probably why. I'm, I'm thinking that that's the reason is that it's overfilled with oil. So I'm gonna dump like half of that oil out. Got a little cup here. There's a cup full of oil. I'm gonna put it somewhere so I don't spill it. I'm gonna check the levels. We'll see if that's our problem. So I put it on about half. Had to pour out some more. Had to put.
put some back in, so now it's right on the pole. I'll let it run for a while. It'll start smoking a little bit more when it heats up. And then I think we're good to go. So, needed a carburetor clean, needed a return spring for the auto choke, and the oil was filled to double the amount that it requires. Now I'm going to list this for sale. $135. Yes, sir. You know, it's funny, I was looking at this oil too. That oil is blacker than death. This one needs an oil change too. When in Rome, got it all out. Might as well. Black Death. Oh, As you know, this one I was working on for a couple of days. It won't prime, you know? And so, uh, just try it now and see if it primes. After a few days, you know, whatever, something soaking in gas, something swells up a little bit more, whatever, things could be different. So it wouldn't start, wouldn't prime, and then a bunch of subscribers, um, Deke W, Alfredo Dirks, some other guys, they told me that just put a piece of masking tape through this channel here, leaving the very end with a hole in it. So I'm like, masking tape? Wouldn't electrical tape be a lot better? I'm just gonna try electrical tape because masking tape is basically paper. The fuel and stuff like that, it, you know what I mean? Now how do you do the curve though? You know what I mean? <laughs> so I'll just put it like this. I don't know, it should be the, the whole thing, is what I'm thinking. I don't understand. How are you going to curve it, you know? That's not going to stick. Oh, I'll figure it out. So for some reason the electrical tape didn't work, but you're right, the masking tape sticks better. I got it all the way through here and I poked the hole where the air is supposed to go. I'll try it. So I just put everything back together again, let's see if that uh, masking tape on the channel works. It's primed it three or four times. Ooh, it wants to. about that works now let's put some earl in this holy cow so i'm gonna fill it up with 20 ounces of sae 30 from my friends over at lucas oil products How about that huh three mowers today As you know, my fourth mower here, this just had a little bit of fuel treatment in there. I didn't even have to clean the car. Auto choke, starts just fine. Starts just fine. Man, that cleaned up really well, huh? A little 
little bit of water and a brush. I uh, sell this for 125. I know, with no bagger. It's a mulcher. Won't even fit a bag. So how about that, guys? In a couple of hours, I've got four ready to be listed. If you know what you're doing, or I've worked on it for quite a bit, you'll kind of know what's wrong. For instance, the one that my neighbor Darren gave me, you could see immediately that the uh, spring was missing. So that was the reason why I wouldn't do a cold start because the choke flap was open. So with the spring, it kept it closed. Until you got it started up, the heat from the muffler moved the thermostat to move the arm to open the choke flap so it runs normally. Uh, also, it was overfilled by double the amount of oil that you're supposed to put in here, which is why it kept on smoking. So after we did that, now it runs great, no problem. We changed the uh, thermostat auto choke arm on this Kohler, gave it an oil change just now, now it runs great too. We put the masking tape on the channel for the uh, primer um, air filter base, and now it starts up too. This one didn't need anything but a little bit of Lucas Oil deep clean fuel treatment, cleaned out the carburetor without me cleaning the carburetor. How about that? Just uh, washed it up and now that's ready to be listed too. But the true test is, let's start all four right now. Number one, 550EX. Just washed it. Primer button. That was the problem. Thermostat. Auto choke arm replacement. And an oil change. Spring and overfilled with oil. Auto choke. That's a load off my mind because now I've got four listed. I don't have to work on them anymore. Uh, the hoard is slowly but surely diminishing. I've still got plenty more to do, but uh, guess what? I got even more to do. I got to change the brakes on my wife's car. Mercedes wants to charge 900. I can do it in like 50, $50. Anyway, thanks a lot for your support, fellas. Thanks a lot for buying those stickers. I'll, I'll keep having them, you know, and uh, feel free to buy them at your leisure. Send me a picture if you would um, of where you stuck it, and I'll put it in my video. And also remember, when you buy them on eBay, right, I'm going to immediately give you positive feedback. You guys remember, give me positive feedback too. It's a cheap way for both of us to benefit from positive feedback on eBay, which is pretty valuable. Anyway, thanks a lot for joining me on today's episode. Enjoy the football day. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.